We begin with breaking news. WikiLeaks reports that its founder, Julian Assange, has left a British prison and has flown out of the country. This comes after the release of U.S. court documents showing Assange has agreed to plead guilty to violating espionage law. The deal resolves a long-running legal battle between Assange and the U.S. government. He was wanted for publishing classified U.S. military files and documents on the WikiLeaks platform, which he founded in 2006. He had been fighting extradition to the U.S. in the British courts, where he spent the past five years in a high-security prison. Let's get more now from our Washington Bureau Chief, Ines Paul. Ines, what's the latest in this long-running saga? Well, this is actually really quite a spectacular turn. Uh, we have to keep in mind that Julian Assange has spent more uh, than a decade in confinement, first in an embassy and then in prison. Now, uh, the case has this uh, taken this dramatic turn and extradition to the U.S. indeed is apparently no longer under discussion. So to tell us more about this uh, plea deal and what led to the agreement? Right, so Julian Assange, the founder uh, of WikiLeaks, as, as you just mentioned, agreed on Monday to plead guilty to a single felony count of illegally uh, obtaining and disclosing national security material in exchange uh, for his release from this British uh, prison. Uh, the Australian could then return uh, to his home country and actually WikiLeaks already announced that Assange already has left uh, Britain by plane. So he heads, where, where is he heading? What do we expect to happen next? Well, so the agreement apparently stipulates that Assange will plead guilty in a court in the U.S. territory of the Mariana Islands. Uh, and the sentence, that's what we hear, is currently set at uh, uh, 62 uh, months and will be considered as already served. According uh, to news agencies such as Reuters, uh, this hearing is scheduled for uh, Wednesday at 9 a.m. Uh, local time. Okay, and Ines, remind us why Julian Assange is such a controversial character and why the U.S. wants him in the first place. Yeah, that's a good question. You know, so supporters really see him as a brave uh, whistleblower who exposed uh, wrongdoing and uh, kind of empowers uh, citizens. Uh, critics on the other side argue that his actions really endangered lives and compromised national security. I had the chance to interview uh, John Bolton, for example. This is the former national security advisor under Donald Trump just a couple uh, of weeks ago, and he told me in this interview for DW that he supports the death penalty uh, for Julian Assange. And then we also have to keep in mind that in addition to his work with WikiLeaks, Assange has faced legal issues in 2010. Uh, he was actually accused of sexual assault in Sweden and sought asylum in the Ecuadorian embassy in London. So a really controversial figure in many, many levels. Okay. DW Washington Bureau Chief Ines Paul, thank you for bringing us up to speed.